Hey guys, it's Gita. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this very dark uh, smoky eye with a pop of color and um, all the steps on achieving the eyes and I'll also do the nude lips that I paired this with. I did this eye look uh, last week and a bunch of people asked if I would film a tutorial on it, so here it is. So enjoy, I hope you learned something today and stay tuned if you're interested in this look. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply primer to my eyelids. I'm using Max Paint Pot in Painterly for that. And I'm just applying that all over my eyelid with my finger. You don't want to apply too much primer. Just want to apply enough that you have a nice tacky base for your shadows to stick to. So the first thing that we're going to apply for color will just be a base shadow all over the lid. I'm going to be using today my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. So I'm going to be going in with this uh, base shade right here, which is sort of a pale beige color. If you don't have this palette, you're more than welcome to use something else with similar colors. You just want to be sure you're working with neutral mattes. The next thing that I'm going to do is take a transition shade into my crease. and I'll be using this peach shade and I'm just using a crease brush to apply. This will just be a transition shade just to help with the blending of the other shadows. So next I'm going to be taking a slightly darker transition shade. I'll be using this taupe shade. This is just going to go directly into my crease. And I'm also just going to sweep some of that color onto the lid as well. Taking that first fluffy brush that I used, just really blending that all out. If you think you've blended enough, you can always blend more. <laughs> I can't say enough, just keep on blending if you think you haven't blended enough. Alright, so before we go in with the um, black eyeshadow and the base for that, I'm going to be using um, a fairly dark color in the crease, which again is just going to uh, help to blend all of the colors together. You always want to start with your lightest eyeshadows and work your way to your darkest just makes the blending easier and you can also build up to your desired level of color and coverage. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just go back in with that crease brush. brush. Just a nice little crease brush there, fairly dense. And I'm gonna be taking this darkest brown, which is on the bottom right, and this is the color that I'm going to be just working some of that into the crease. And here, I'm really going to be packing it on. Blending, 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 blending. Along the way in this process is I like to stop, look at how it's blended, and you can always add more of the transition color if you need. So what I'm doing at this point is I'm going to take a little bit more of that first peach shade that I used and just going back in with that fluffy brush. And as you can see, I'm just going to be going back into the edges there. And it's just along the way to make sure that it's blended. Again, you really can't blend too much. So I'm going to be going over my eyelid with a black eyeliner. I'm using the Urban Decay uh, Velvet 24-7 eyeliner, black velvet. Any black eyeliner will do. And what I do here is I'm just putting the eyeliner on my eyelid, just kind of all over the place as a base. While we're in here, you can also tight line your eyes. So I'm going to do that now as well. So you just lift this and the black eyeliner goes right in that area. And then what I do next, is I go in and I blend it with a very densely packed brush. I'm just going to blend that in. The reason I use eyeliner as a base is you just want something dark all over the lid. If you're applying black eyeshadow, you want to make sure that it's like a saturated color, that it's dark, 
that it looks pigmented. This is just a great way to get the shadows to just stick and also to have a dark base to cling to. And then I just like to go back in with this crease brush and again, blend the edge. Just blend where you put the liner into what you've already put into the crease. There. So then we're gonna go in with the black eyeshadow from the palette and I'm gonna be using that same dense, I'm gonna be using that same dense brush that I used before. So just packing some of that color onto the brush and I'm just going in and packing this onto the lid. It is, um, you know, a little bit unblended in the center. So again, I'm taking that crease brush, the blending brush, and just going in and really just blending in. I'm not putting any additional product on the brush, I'm working with what is already on my eyelids. There's a good amount of product already on my eyes. <laughs> If you have too harsh of a line, just continue to blend. You can always put a little more of that dark brown back into the crease. So I just went back in and cleaned up the fallout from underneath my eyes. But next, I'm just going to go into my waterline with some black eyeliner, which is what I used earlier. And I am bringing that all the way to the inner corner. I'm gonna be taking an angled uh, liner brush and some of that matte black eyeshadow and just going and putting some of that into the waterline, just blending that into the eyeshadow. At this point, I am gonna add some color to my lower lash line. I'm gonna be using a purple uh, because, you know, why not? Now at this point you could certainly add any color you like. I'm going to be using um, one of the artist shadows, the single shadows by Makeup Forever. Let's see it. So that's ME840. It is just beautiful. Um, it has this just shimmer iridescence to it. If you prefer another color you can do that or you can just use a dark brown, whatever you like. But I'm adding this pop of purple and I'm going to be taking a pencil brush 716 by Delium Tools. I'm going to be taking that and just packing packing quite a bit of color onto the brush and I'm going to be dragging that from the inner corner out and blending it into what I already have there. And done with the eyeshadow portion of it until I finish the rest of my face then I'll go back and blend in just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara. I'm going to go in with some false lashes. I'm using Coco Lashes in Risqué. Alright, so I have finished uh, most of the rest of my face. I'm just going to add a couple more details to the eyes at this point. I'm going to be taking just a little bit of Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek, which is just a beautiful uh, champagne uh, kind of white gold highlight. Just taking a little bit of that to my inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and take just a little bit more of that purple shade that I was using on that pencil brush. And I'm just going to be bringing a little more of that underneath my eyes. What I've done is I've kind of brought the color to the outer corner here and just blended it into where the shadow ends here. And just basically making sure that everything underneath the eye is blended. And then the final step for the eyes is I'm going to be just putting some mascara onto my bottom lashes. Last but not least, the final thing that I will be doing on camera is my lips. Going in with Stripped Down Pencil Liner by MAC. Nude Cream Lipstick by Milani. 
That is my finished look. Um, thank you so much for watching today. I uh, hope that it was helpful for you. If you have any suggestions on other videos that I should do, let me know. Or if you have questions, um, leave me a comment. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, just hit the subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Both are at Beauty by Gita. Um, and I'll put that in the description as well. And thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.